Ah, uh, there you go. Hi, friends. Doc South here. Uh, this one for my uh, granddaughter, Sadie. Uh, Sadie got, I guess, her uh, learner's permit the other day. Yeah. And uh, I was thinking back for myself uh, what that was like, and I, I thought I'd share some of my learner permit memories. Uh, those, <laughs> those I can remember. Sometimes when I was on my learner's permit, I'd, I'd black out. Uh, but <laughs> certain situations. Uh, evidently, Sadie's already, uh, she, she ran into a little tiny pole, nothing to write home about. Um, and she's probably disgusted with herself, but uh, it takes a while uh, to uh, get driving down to a, a fine art. I might mention Sadie, your uncle Burgess. Uh, as I understand it, uh, if I recall right, wound up on a church lawn. Yeah, it would have been probably okay if it was a Saturday. I think it was a wedding. Yeah, but the <laughs> in progress. Uh, your your mom. Uh, your mom. Let's see. I remember when she had uh, permission to drive the car, uh, and she already had her license. Uh, she her 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 main phrase when she came in the. Uh, door after uh, out for being out for a drive was, I'll fix the dent. I'll fix the dent. I'll work hard and fix the dent. And, and, and then she'd explain how, well, she just didn't mean to <laughs> cut that guy off, you know, out on, uh, out on the interstate. Uh, the, um, so it happens. And oh, I'm no exception. I remember my father, uh, oh my gosh, again, uh, I, for most of you know, my, my father did fly fighter planes, uh, Corsairs, in uh, World War II, uh, never got quite into combat, almost, and uh, he crashed a few planes, yeah, and in some cases, man, he's lucky to be alive, because, man, he made a mess of those planes, um, and it, this stuff happens. Uh, so, driving uh, around with me, really wasn't that much of a deal to him. Yeah, heck, we're only doing 55, 60 miles an hour. Uh, <laughs> I remember we're riding down one of the country roads in uh, Chester. Oh, before that, before I even had a license, I was like 15, many a day after church. I'd notice I'd look at him and he'd be doing extra praying there in church. Now, at 15 was not a legal age to drive, but uh, he'd, uh, he'd quite, but we Chester back then, uh, was kind of a rural area. Um, I'd we'd we'd be after church. We'd get piling into the car, and he'd say, uh, "No, no, no, no! You're not sitting in the back. You drive. You're driving home." I said, "What? I don't have a license." Just so, <laughs> and I'd have to get us home. Uh, yeah, he says you should have prayed harder. Let's go, move it. I want to get home, see the ball game. Football's on. Uh, you know that. Yeah. Uh, but I know one day, this was after I had my learner's permit, he had a ride, you know, the meaning you, you had to have a grown-up riding with you. And, uh, and no, your friends didn't count as grown-ups. You couldn't add the ages together, no. Uh, and, and, you know, two 18s and come up with uh, 36, no, 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 no. Um, but they, uh, so he's riding along uh, with me. He's in the, uh, he's riding shotgun, I'm behind the wheel, coming down a country road, and we're doing, I think the speed limit was, uh, oh, I don't know. I, let's say it was 35. I'm doing about 50. And we're, we're tooling along. And all of a sudden, oh, my God, here comes a curve. And it's, it's one of those old gravel roads, you know, where they used to put the tar, then the gravel. Well, I hit that, I hit that curve. Oh my gosh, spun out just like, you know, just like A.J. Voigt at uh, the Indianapolis 500. I just, wah, 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 like that. I said, oh my God, I could have killed us. He says, yeah, you should have slowed down. I said, yeah, I don't want to ever drive again. I got out of the car and uh, slammed the driver's door and sat in the back seat. He says, what are you doing back there? He says, you get right up here right now and you're going to drive through that turn again and again and again. Till you get it right. He said, oh, geez. And, and I did. You know, it was that, he was that kind of driver. I know one time, now we lived in north central New Jersey, and we had relatives out in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, my beloved grandma, Grandma Griven. And uh, we were going to, evidently mom had already taken the train out there. Okay, to visit with her, her mom, yeah. Grandma was her mom. And... Um, 
And we were going to, we were staying at home. I, I, I don't know. I had some, maybe I had a job, you know, a part-time job. My father had work. So Friday night, we were going to go out and we were going to be out there for a, co- a few days and then bring mom home. And where uh, we, uh, it was the uh, end of the work, work day. So it was four or five o'clock in the afternoon uh, in Chester. Now, my grandma lived out in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, which is about 50 miles north of Pittsburgh. Okay. Um, I noticed, uh, he said, look, he, uh, I, I, so I, I get in the uh, passenger side, and I notice he's got a map on the uh, seat and all that. And I figured, gee, he knows the way to Newcastle. What? He's been to Grandma's house lots. And uh, he says, what are you doing in the passenger seat? I said, well, I'm, I'm going to ride with you. No, he says, you're driving. In fact, you're driving the whole darn way. I said, through the night? Down, down the Pennsylvania Turnpike with the tunnels and the and and I got to go down the I, I Route 22 through Easton. Oh my God! He says, Yeah, yeah. He says you're gonna do it. Uh, he says, Now here's the map. Study the map. Get it in your head. We'll see. Uh, he, he climbs into the back seat and falls asleep. And I got to get us there. And he said, Nope. He says you can stop to you can stop to pee. You can stop for a coffee, a hamburger. Uh, but other than that, you just keep right on rolling. You're going to get us there. <laughs> and he said, I don't care if you wind up in Texas. We're going to, you're getting us to Newcastle. And I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I took a few wrong turns. Yeah, yeah, a few wrong turns. But for the most part, I got us there. Yeah. And it was kind of fun going down the uh, down the old turnpike, listening to Ray Charles and waving at the trucks and stuff. Yeah, well... They were kind of waving something else at me. Maybe I was going a little slow. Uh, but other than that, uh, we did, we made it. Doggone if we didn't. Uh, yes, sir. It was, uh, it was about 350 miles. I think it only took me a day and a half. <laughs> no, I got there reasonably well. And you know something? I got to say, I got to hand it to the old man. He, uh, he really did it right. And uh, all in all, I've knocked wood. I haven't been too bad a driver, I guess. So, for the most part. Um, still got all my fingers and teeth. Well, not all my teeth. Actually, I did lose my teeth in a head-on. But that I wasn't driving. Yeah. I was, so, I, I guess that don't count. Anyway, friends, I'll see you later. Uh, till we meet again, uh, treat each other kindly, especially on the highway. And uh, God bless. Sadie, keep up the good work. You'll be fine. We'll see you. Bye now.